going in and out of organs for the best and, what, and what they're doing. There is blood vessels. That's adipose tissue on the outside, but there's blood vessels inside of there that are going in and out of the kidney. Okay? So let's sit down. You can sit down over there, both of you, and dissect the kidney. Okay. Watch the movie first. And then, like I said, we're going to put the slot, we're going to put the uh, blades onto the scalpels. That's one thing. You know, most of you know how to do that. A kidney isn't an organ we can suture back together. So we're not going to practice suturing. But we can, yeah, we're, this is not the organ to do that with. But we can basically, you know, again, you can uh, open up the organ and see the different parts of it. And you can also look at the outside and kind of remove some of the static tissue and see what you see going into the kidney. Because you should be able to see some blood vessels going in to the kidney. What is this plant. kidney up? This is a sheep. Okay. So these are sheep kidneys. Mm -hmm. And the glomerulus is spinning, is spinning it through the capillaries. And what's coming out of it is waste products. Waste products from blood is coming down through, again, what we call the proximal tubule. Then the second, then we have a loop of Henle. Then we have a distal tubule. Then we have a collecting duct. And that's where the waste is going to. So when when we're when this is going on in the medulla, in the medullary pyramids, is where the nephron's at. And this four components of the nephron is basically doing the filtration. It's taking good and keeping it in the blood and taking waste product and putting it into, again, urine. So give me an idea of what you think is what we, what we want to keep in the blood. What in the blood is going to be good? What do we want to keep in blood that we don't want to see in the urine? This is, again, between blood and urine. So we want what do we want to keep in the blood? We want proteins to stay in the blood. We don't want them in the urine. We want blood cells to stay in the blood. We want electrolytes to stay in the blood. We want sugars to stay in the blood. So we want fuel, and we want blood cells, and we want electrolytes. What do we want to see in the urine? Waste products from proteins breaking down. So when proteins break down, they cause waste. Those waste products are uric acid, urea, creatine, ammonia, just think about when you smelled your baby's diaper. Ammonia is a waste product from protein. That should smell like that because that's waste. So when proteins break down, that's we have waste products, and that's what should be out in the urine. The glomerulus is determining what it's going to keep in blood and taking these waste products from blood and getting it into urine. So that's what we're looking for in urine. We're looking for these things to stay in the blood. Okay, so we want the at, in the in the medulla, the medulla is made up of millions of nephrons that is doing that filtration. They're doing the filtration. Filtration or filtrate is waste from blood. It's something pulled out of the blood that basically is going to end up in urine. And so, if it's doing it properly, we should see this in the urine, and we should not see any of this in the blood. I mean, we should see all these in the blood. I want so. What happens again with the kidney as a filtration system, we literally have blood that basically flows through this afferent, and that's what that slit is called the hilium. That's a slit, and blood is going into the kidney, and it's filtering in one direction, 
and then it's going to the columns and then it's filtering up and it's going through the columns and it's filtering up. So in the process of that doing that, what's happening is as it goes through these channels, it's letting the medulla through these nephrons filter out what's good and bad. Mm -hmm. And whatever bad is forming at the end of these pyramids, there is a papilla. And you, I'll show it to you as you dissect. There's a point there. And that's where the urine is accumulating in these different calyxes that's forming into a canal that's going into the bladder. So we'll show you that. But right now what I want you to do is just open up the kidney and I want you to identify the pyramids and the columns. And I want you to, I'll show you the calyxes. The glomerular filtration rate is in the normal limits. Then we could say your kidneys are functioning. What happens if I start to see proteins in the urine or electrolytes or sugars in the urine and I start to see these waste products like uric acid, urea, or creatine in the blood. Then we use this one function to determine if your kidneys are about ready to fail or not. When somebody basically has certain components of kidney failure, then the doctor writes a prescription for dialysis, like a prescription, and the patient starts off on dialysis. It's, they're saying to the patient, your kidneys are no longer functioning, you have to, be, you have, to have filtrate through a machine to basically to live. Dialysis is not, it's basically not curing the problem. It's keeping you living till you have a transplant. That's what it is. So most of the time, of all time, it's a, it's again a life, it's something that's life lasts as long as you live until you get a transplant. Yeah. This, if you're doing over here, I'm isolated by the canal. So you want to go, you look at this like this. And again, um, these are the Good thing I'm not trying to be a surgeon because I am chopping this thing up. <laughs> you got to be a superstar on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, what so, not to do. <laughs> this is the part that it's pyramids and columns. This is the functional part. But this all used to look like that and then this is just Yeah, that should be all that... together. It should be, this would be all, like hers is, this should be all extended in the inner. So I don't know how yours got separated. Is it like a diet and, uh, thing? This land is a diet. I, I, I can't <laughs> tell you that. Shoes. But it should be all together. So these are pyramids, columns, pyramids, column, and this should continue on as one whole structure. This is a parenchyma. This is a functional part. This is doing the, the filtration. So that's why I call it functional. This part is not. The cortex is extending out to the cort uh, to the outside of the kidney. Cortex is outside. The pyramids are staying inside. And in these pyramids is where we start to have the nef is where the nephron's at. That's what's the part of the kidney that's doing the filtration. So what's happening is blood is running along pyramid to column, pyramid to column, pyramid to column, and it's running in that direction, correct? Like you're running your finger? As it goes from pyramid to column, pyramid to column, what we have at the end of the renal pyramids is what we call a renal papilla or a, a point. And from there, we're collecting waste, which is urine waste. And we're gonna show you now when every, I get everybody's and see it's open. A minor calyx, a major calyx, and a collecting duct. So this is the next thing when you see your pyramids, look to see where you see a slit or an opening. Take your, your probe and see where the slit is. And that's gonna be your collecting, your minor calyx is what we pee from. Okay, so with the probe, I want you to see if you could find a slit at the end of the pyramid that you would maybe call a minor calyx. You should be able to see the slit at the end of a pyramid. Not, you don't need to dissect it out. You should be able to probe and feel a groove or a slit where literally is uh, where urine is going to be collected at the end of the pyramid. So you don't have to make a slit. Let me give you probes. So let's see if you can probe and see if you can find a slit at the end of that minor, at the end of that pyramid that you can literally probe into as a slit and see if you can, again, and that would be the minor calyx. So it's at, remember that it's at the tip of the pyramid. So you got, see where she lifted that up? And you see that little area underneath there? That, again, that little tubing is coming, is the minor calyx that's collecting urine. That's gonna go into a major calyx from all the pyramids. And then it's going to go into a collecting duct. And the collecting duct is gonna lead through the kidney to a ureter. And the ureter is gonna take the urine out to the bladder. 
So number two, when you probe into these hole, this this tube, mm -hmm. if it's an open, is it a hole? Can you probe into a hole? Does it have a lumen, or does it not have a lumen? Can't see that for a second. Sure. See if you could probe into it. Go in very Hello, how are you? Uh, we have a tour. This okay, is our good. clinical coordinator. Um, so she's interested in search. Okay, good. Um, I'm stop. I have some current students. I have some future students coming. So, um, so they came through. through. They're starting in October, but they came in through that section as well. Like, so mm -hmm. Once you get that, you probably um, force it. But it more than three. This is our lab back here. He's actually an MA student that comes in and hangs out. And then Sean is one of our new ones, too. What you guys doing? Okay. So, fun stuff. <laughs> Dissecting kidneys. Did you get your whole anatomy lecture? Yeah, we did. Whoa. And, it, and Brad recorded it so I can watch it. So they'll do open lab um, every other week. Dr. T lets you dissect. Afer arterio. So that's turning into the glomerulus inside the medullary cavity. The afer arterio is making the glomerulus. That's what blood's going into the kidney. So now blood has to leave the kidney through an efferent yeah. arterial. Yeah. Efferent means it's leaving the kidney, again, through an efferent arterial. So you have things hanging, that's in the slit of it again. So in this whole area should be a, a, a blood going into the kidney, blood leaving the kidney, and a ureter should be coming out of here, and it's taken, that's where urine would be going to the bladder. So we're trying to find it. Yeah, look at when, I just want you to get used to using probes, because if you can probe into something, then you know you have, you're in a blood vessel. A ureter, you're basically having a tube too, because that's taking urine to the bladder. So I want you to see if you can see three different things that you could basically say, yep, this is probably a blood vessel and this is maybe the urine. Yeah. Yep. And can you see on there again, the, on the outside, can you probe into a vessel on the outside again? Like you start to, so you should be able to see something you can probe into is an artery going into the kidney. Yeah, so you're into an artery. You can see where it takes you in. It might be trying to fill in that tube. Where you're going to end up. Yeah, sure. Yep, there's one right there. Okay, so it's going into the kidney or is it leaving the kidney? It's going into the kidney. So that's the afferent arterial. That's make that from that it's going in making the glomerulus. Okay. So see if you can fill another hole. There's a blood vessel here. I have two openings left. 